In the previous lecture, we have learned about the trim path and repeater. In this lecture, we will learn about the concept of wiggle, zigzag and twist. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. As always, I'll create a new composition and I'll name this composition as my main animation and settings are same as last time 1920 height 180 frame rate I'll choose 30 seconds and duration is also 30 seconds and background color I'll choose black color and then I'll hit ok so our composition is ready now now what I'm gonna do I'm select this pen tool and for the stroke width I'll choose 10 pixels and I'll hit OK and I'll choose grid and guide option and title safe action and with the help of shift I'll create one stroke so I'll select this layer I'll press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center then I'll go to the align tab align it horizontally and then I'll align it vertically like that again I'll select them and press ctrl alt home now we will go to our add menu and first we will choose zigzag so as you can see whenever we are going to choose this we will get some little difference over here we will get the stroke in zigzag pattern then we will go to the zigzag one over here we will get option for size so with the help of that you can increase the size of it rights per segment so you can in decrease and increase the segments and then you will get this points corner where you can choose corner or smooth so we get something like that then after that you are free to add any other thing like suppose I am gonna add trim path over here and now if I animate this trim path as you can see you will get something like this now suppose I am gonna make this zero over here I'll create one keyframe and I'll create one keyframe on the start I'll zoom in a little bit I'll go to around 1.5 seconds and property I'll make it 100 and start property I'll make it 100 and I'll select those start keyframes and I'll just move them a little bit forward so if I hit play now we will get something like this yep so now I'm gonna delete those things and I'll make the start 0 which is our initial thing now I'm gonna delete this zigzag so as you guys know what is zigzag so I'll delete it then we have another thing called wiggle path if I create it as you can see again we are getting some change over here if i hit play now as you can see we'll get a little bit of animations also so let's see what is in it if i go to the wiggle path first thing is obviously for size we can increase the size of it and now if we hit play as you can see we'll get this kind of animations details means what uh, how many points do you want in that so i'll make it something like 12 and same options like suppose i can choose move wiggle per second it's basically a speed i can increase and decrease the speed also etc etc and then there are another options which just change the pattern of it nothing much more excited as compared to this and then this random set is basically to change the pattern of it like suppose i'll select this layer and i'll hit ctrl d with the help of moving tool I'll move this over here so as you can see the pattern is same so now suppose I want to change the pattern I what I'll do I'll go to the contents I'll go to the wiggle path one and a random series I'll choose one let's say so as you can see with the help of this we can change the pattern of it just like that you can change something like that yeah so this is wiggle path I'll delete this also and same over here you can and again animate this trim path but make sure that your trim path is after the wiggle path if it's on the top you will get something like this if it is after the wiggle path and now if I animate it as you can see we will get a difference so make sure that trim path is after your main wiggle or zigzag pattern then only it will animate the stroke otherwise if it's at the top then it will animate this wiggle path also 
so keep in mind that that your dream path it should be after this vehicle path one so this is our vehicle path i'll delete it now now we will focus on our third option which is called twist so i'll click on it as you can see we'll get something like that if i hit click on this twist i can change the angle so with the help of that we will get something like this i'll select the shape layer i'll press s for scaling option and i'll scale it a little bit then again i'll go to the contents twist and i can increase it i can change the center of it so with the help of that we can manipulate the settings like that as i said make sure that your trim path is after the effect otherwise it will act like this so what i'm gonna do i'll simply select this trim path and i'll drag it below and now what we can animate here is that i'll make this 50 and for the star property also i'll make it 50 i'll create one keyframe over here and one keyframe over here and around four seconds i'll make the start zero and make this 100 at zero 100 sorry and 100 so we'll get something like this now in the search bar i'll type stroke i'll create one keyframe over here and i'll hit u now to reveal all my keyframes initially stroke width i'll make zero hit k to move this anchor point to the forward direction and let's make it something like that yeah this looks good to me so if i hit play we'll get something like that now we'll go to the shape options and in the stroke instead of butt cap i'll choose round cap i'll hit u again i'll select all the keyframes and i'll simply hit f9 so if we hit play now we'll get something like this now there is another thing we can do you can hit ctrl d again and i'll change the color into red then i'll hit ctrl d again i'll change the color into blue then i'll hit ctrl d again i'll change the color into green and then i'll hit ctrl d again and i'll change the color in white now what i'll do i'll simply adjust them i'll zoom in a little bit and i'll adjust it like that now if i hit play we'll get this kind of color animations over here so yep with the help of twist zigzag and these things you can manipulate your stroke like that you can play around with these options and you can try different different animations so that's it for the today's video we will meet you in the next lecture